This may overstate the case, but one security expert told us there are two kinds of people, those who know their phones have been hacked and those whose phones have been hacked but don't know it. Sharon Alfonsi is investigating for this Sunday's 60 Minutes. Is everything hackable? Yes. Everything? Yes. If somebody tells you you can't do it? I don't believe it. John Herring offered to prove it. <laughs> so he gathered a group of ace hackers at our Las Vegas hotel. Each of them a specialist in cracking mobile devices and figuring out how to protect them. Would you put your money in a bank that didn't test the locks on their safes? You know, we need to try and break it to make sure that the bad guys can't. How easy is it to break the phone right now? Very easy. Yeah, as you've yeah. seen, pretty trivial. So sh do I need to connect to it? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. It started when we logged on to the hotel Wi-Fi. At least it looked like the hotel Wi-Fi. Herring had created a ghost version. It's called spoofing. I mean, this looks legitimate. It looks very legitimate. So are you connected? I am. And I have your email. <laughs> you have access to my email right Yeah, now? it's coming through right now. I actually can, I now have a ride sharing application up here all the information that's being transmitted, including your account ID, your mobile phone, which I just got the mobile number, then more importantly, I have all the credit cards associated with, with that account. The hack you saw only took a matter of minutes, and I was fooled by that fake Wi-Fi. But in other demonstrations, we'll show you on Sunday, Scott, the hackers were able to exploit a hole in the global cellular network and get into our phones, turn on our camera, and listen to us. All they needed for that was a phone number. Sharon, thank you, and we will be watching this Sunday on 60 Minutes.